finna start this day off doing this. So yeah, what we finna do first, I got here about an hour early and I set up my lights already. So, nah, I ain't set up my lights, but I got my stuff situated. But what we finna do now is get shots of the venue itself. So, I think it's the, the, the drone up in the air and I, I'm shooting with the Mavic 2 Pro. And so first, I normally do, if I'm not getting the detail shots, like with the rings and bouquets, I get an aerial footage. That's what we're finna do with that. We are at um, Spring Hill Farm. And um, yeah, we're finna do this. And y'all can see the shots. I'm gonna put them on the screen, of course, so you can see what type of shots I'm getting. And the key, and one of the key things with weddings, man, if you can get there early, get there early. Like, always get there early. I don't care if it's an hour. Get there earlier than normal. Cause it will save you a headache. Yeah, typically, when I get to the venue, I straight away, if the bride and or their mother, I introduce myself, you know, I tell them what I'm about to do. I explain what, what I'm probably finna end up shooting first if the photographer's not there, because normally on a full day, I, I shoot, I get details. Really nothing but details. So it can be the other venue, it can be details of the rings, it can be, uh, I'm trying to think, of the dress, of course. I, I actually scout out while I'm walking around where to hang up the dress. So I'm gonna do, we're gonna do that after we get these shots, of course. This is a very nice venue, by the way. This is very nice. It's my first time being here. For anybody that's new, man, for the filming weddings, man, it's, it's definitely nerve wracking. But like, man, my, I always preach, like just get out here and do it. Like when you get your first wedding, yes, you're gonna be nervous, but mess up. If you're gonna mess up, mess up, <laughs> mess up fast. But I always come in the tent. If you got a game plan, like I, what my word of advice is, watch a lot of footage, of course, content, consume different types of wedding styles or people in your area. Watch how they film and just kind of depict on how you want to portray the day. Or if not, if you're very new, just film everything. Like literally film anything you see. And then you eventually, as you film everything, you're like, okay, no, I don't need to film that. Yes, I need to film this because that's very important. You'll see as you keep continuing to film weddings. So that is a big thing I did in the beginning. Like I just filmed everything. Like literally everything I seen, I if I had a shot idea for it, I filmed it. So in just a few minutes too, we're gonna uh, walk up. When we get done with this, we'll end up walking up to the bride suite where the room where they where they all located and kind of introduce ourselves again and hang out with them so they can be comfortable and just know who we are. Cause that's my biggest thing. I want people to be comfortable and understand how I work. So here we go. And so when you're shooting drone shots, Always find, eventually when you're shooting, trying to find where you can find depth, trying to find shots where you can create some depth in your shot. That makes it way more intriguing, having foreground, then the subject, then the background to it. But I always start kind of wide, then I shoot in mid, then I shoot very tight to the venue. And of course I do orbits, I do a lot of orbiting when I shoot my wedding is why I shoot um, drone footage of the, um, let's go on the other side. So I do a lot of orbiting and sometimes I might orbit and start pushing towards the venue and tilt my camera as I go. It gives it a whole different look when you do these certain types of. Another thing, key tip, always, always push record. Make sure you record. All right, so we just finished up some of the shot, my drone shots for the first part of the day. Normally I will go shoot, uh, put the drone back up in the air in the different time of the day, just in case I just, if it looks better to me, if I feel like having the sun more, cause the sun is more above our head right now. So then later on during the day before like the ceremony, it might be 
is gonna of course be down this way. So it's gonna be it's gonna cast more of a sunset than a broad, harsh light on the venue. So but it's real, it's very nice in there. I tell you that. Like I said, it's my first time being here. It's very, very nice venue. And so the type of shots we're gonna get with the camera, it's gonna be just kind of branding in the sense like I seen Spring Hills is on the top of the door of the venue. Spring Hill Farm, that's the name of the venue. I see this nice chandelier right here that's what I'm gonna get. And I see some, it's of course, you see a lot of flowers in the, behind me. So that could be a whole interest level to interest. Uh, it could be a whole nother shot for just the front part of the venue. So that this whole section has a lot going on. So I'm gonna capture that and go see how, what all they got going on inside because it's been a minute since we've been out here. I know they got way more done, but we're finna see. But if not, they're not finished in there. We're gonna eventually probably go to the bride and see we can either get the dress or get some of her details with the ring. So whenever you're shooting your first wedding, I always try to, well not first, but when you start shooting multiple weddings, create a system for you that works best for you. So like, I like shooting details first, just to get me back in the groove with my camera, even though I, I shoot literally every week, just to get, you know, me comfortable in, with the area. So do definitely create that if you like doing the bright, like the staging of the makeup or simply them hanging out first, definitely do that. So I always create that system for you. Step on that one, ain't gonna do that. Shoot with the Sony A7S III. And my gimbal is the RS2. That's what I shoot, that's my main rig that I shoot most of my videos with, with the Tamron uh, 28 to 75. I'm using the ND, ND filter right here from KF, KNF concept. And also a lot of people say, like how do I get my shots together on the day of the wedding and when I haven't never been to the venue. Once you shoot enough videos, I promise you, I promise you, you'll get an eye for it. You just have to keep shooting and shooting and figure out your own style of what looks good to you. And like I said also in the past, not too long ago, watch a lot of different content because giving watching different content gives you ideas. And so me studying and watching and seeing, seeing my mentors get the content and how they get it, I kind of implement sections piece by piece into my own style. So. And as I'm shooting, I already have three shots in mind that so I can just go and run straight to them because I already know what I'm looking for. Another thing, dealing with weddings, always get nature shots, always. Get nature shots because they are really good for transition. So let's say um, we started outside taking pictures, then we need to cut to eventually the reception. Me having a, a nature shot would be a great transition saying, okay, it's this time of the day, they doing something, they finna do something else. So always, nature shots is a must. Whether it be just of the trees, the flowers, whatever it is. Let's see. Get a whole wide joint. I'm finna get a wide shot of the venue with my camera. I always does that with my, uh, I'm finna get a wide shot of the venue with my camera. I always do that with, with the drone, of course, but having the view from my camera sets it off differently. I'll stay with that car. I'm gonna have to venture to do this again, but you never know, just in case I don't get it, I got it. All right, start back. Oh, I definitely wanted that. Now, remember I told you the chandelier, we're gonna get the chandelier, then we're gonna then probably get the door, the wreath on the door maybe. Then we're gonna start heading inside. That come from an angle. And most shots I get, uh, 
orbit around. I do a lot of orbiting for my shots. All right, let's get this door. But hey, I'm looking around. This is another thing I do a lot too. I always scope out the place. See what's different. I don't keep going to the back doors. Okay. Like they lock. It's locked. Let's go out this door. Mmm. That's like an eating part, eating area. The photographer should be coming any moment. Another thing too, working with photographers, videographers, I hear a lot of bad stories, but like me, I never had problems with photographers. I never. I don't know if I'm just like a perfectionist or whatnot, but I try to make our days easy as possible. Like simple. Try to make the day easy as possible. Just communicate. It's so simple. Just communicate. Y'all both there trying to make the day a more Experience not about us at all. It's more about their day. It's not it's more about giving them experience So think about that So I'm gonna definitely take consideration of what she's saying Hello, Hey Hi. Hi. Hey, hey, nice. So we're gonna get we got the details so I'm gonna set it up I didn't I decided to do the details first besides the dress because I don't want the photographer to get here and uh, put the dress up when I know she could have got it with me. This is way more easier to transport than the dress. So she gave me the rings, invitations, some earrings, and a nice cologne bottle. It's a nice fresh out the box. God, oh my God. Oh, the bouquet. We need a bouquet. It's a bouquet. It's a bouquet. It's a bouquet. Those are the brides. The groomsmen. Those are the boutonnieres, right? Uh -huh. Those are the boutonnieres. This is the groomsmen. Okay. And the same thing, same thing with this as well. Same thing with creating depth. I, I try to create depth all the time. So I'm going to use the bouquet. I might put it in the vase and always get a top down shot of it. I love the shot. Love those shots. Okay, I got the boutonniere. And the key is with this is to even it out and stuff. So, so I'm trying to even it out. But when you doing details, always trying to space the space it all out, make it where it's all even. This is really a good spot with the sunlight. Another thing too, when you shooting, when you getting details of this sort or this sort trying to find natural lighting is always good of course and i was trying to find a window and i try to either use like wood or like a very nice solid color like this white table is very nice an easy way to get a shot like this too is you don't have to do as much like i was at an angle you can just really do this for the top shot, you can do, you can just get your gimbal. If you use a gimbal. Go wider, go wider. And what this gonna do is gonna give me a whole different type of depth when I do the top down shot. I always do it extra. Oh yeah, this is right. This is nice. I should have done it the first time. Hey, it's doing good. I'm Morgan. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet y'all. Yeah, I heard about you. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't get the dress yet. Okay. Um, so I, I know it's harder to transport yeah, back and forth. So. Do that all at once. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's why I went ahead and got the shots, some shots That's of this. Perfect. So. Are you are you still working on this? Or do you need some more time? Or I'm, I was just asking, thinking about that veil. You want it? Mm hmm. Do you got an idea? Have you been here before? I have. You have, so you know. I haven't been here yet, so oh, really? this is my first time. A lot of people will sit at the doors right there, they'll close them and take the dress on that, on that, and choose them to get these, like, big Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, that's kind of like the dress shot. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see it too. You do? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Cool, because I, I was looking around. 
I didn't even think of that, because they was working in here, so. Study on my laptop, my dad bought me everywhere. And they was like, what are you doing? I said, just, you'll, you'll see eventually. And now they're like, oh my God, you so amazing. They're like, no. <laughs> you wouldn't say that like that. Right. But it was just. Look, I used to crap my dog in the corner and practice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a, I went to Houston, that's a first. I went to Houston University. Right. <laughs> that's exactly what I was like. I went to YouTube University. Uh, Taking pictures of her daughter and grandkids mm. before too, and then she's from Ripley, and I've been, I don't know if you've heard of it, the Red Barn. Right. She works with them, so we okay. work together a lot. Thanks, Sam. Oh, just take a little dress. They need to stop that. <laughs> they men. They well, do most of them be men? Most of them men. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't scared to touch. You see what I did? I grabbed it. Uh huh. But well, they gave it to me, but. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty dress, ain't it? Yeah, it's very. Yeah, you definitely ain't gonna need a dinner reception <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Just know when, I, when I, my first wedding, I had. You just, you just gotta do it. That's all it is. Oh, I tell people like, man, when I first started, I just looked stupid all the time. And, but I made sure I learned from the mistake. That's all it was. They say not learning from mistake is the mistake. 